How do you think the NFL should respond to this? I think they're already responding. I think the Kansas City Chiefs are already responding. You have to suspend him and you have to keep him off the field indefinitely. We don't know all the details, but here's the reality of the situation. I'm a dad, you're a dad. <clears throat> if someone said to me, you're taking my three-year-old child's arm, telling him to put his arm out, and you're punching him in the chest, I'm going to say, that's a damn lie. What is that? There is absolutely no truth to that whatsoever. I didn't hear that on that tape. I didn't hear anything that, was, that came close to denials. And that's the problem. A matter of fact, he said, you should be scared of me too. And then called to the B word. And so it's not a good look. It's reprehensible. And then for me personally, it resonates from this perspective. This is a guy that went to school at West Alabama. He's 25 years old. He busted his tail to get to this point. And the things that these dudes do to blow opportunities that they work their entire life for shows how senseless they are. And I want to make sure that I'm very, very clear about this because if you've, you've heard me, Max, you've heard me, Will, I'm one of those people who believes that the narrative uh, uh, against black fathers, I find it highly offensive how black fathers get stigmatized in this nation. I, most black men that I know who are fathers are phenomenal fathers to their children. They provide, they protect, they put their lives on the line, they scratch, they claw, they do everything they can to uplift themselves and their family. In this rat race of a world that we're living in, when clearly we're behind the eight ball, coming from a disenfranchised community, I resent the fact that people out there believe these things about black fathers. But then I see examples like this, and it bothers me even more that those individuals, knowing that stigma exists out there about people from our community, will go out there and engage in this kind of nonsensical and reprehensible behavior. What possible justification can you have for hitting a three-year-old child punching him in the arm and punching him in the chest. And again, I don't know if he did it or not. The DA says, I didn't have enough to prosecute, but it's clear to us that a crime was committed. But you hear the tape, and he seems more preoccupied with checking her than making sure to deny the accusations that she is putting out there on tape about him. So because of that reality, your butt don't need to be practicing with this team. And oh, by the way, my last point, Tyreek Hill is a bad brother. 215 receiving yards against New England in that game in November when they lost 54 to 51. I'm sorry, not against New England, against the Rams. All right, even though in the players only had one reception for 42 yards. This brother is something special. Kareem Hunt got himself in trouble. I believe it cost him a Super Bowl. And Tyreek Hill getting himself in this particular situation right now, I don't know if he's going to be back. It depends on what they find. And if he's not allowed to come back, it's going to cost Kansas City again. And it's sad because it ain't football that cost the Kansas City Chiefs a legitimate shot at the title. It's reprehensible, inexcusable behavior on the part of two young black men who bust their tail to get here and blows it with nonsense like this. The reason I like that point in particular is because even if you say the way I came up or the way I see the world, I don't agree with the kind of uh, changing perceptions of how to raise children, right? There's a growing consensus, I think, if it hasn't already arrived. You don't hit kids. It doesn't teach them the right thing. You certainly, for a three-year-old, don't leave a mark on their arm where they have to explain where they got it from or tell them to put their hands down and punch them in the chest. To be clear, Max, it was a broken arm. Right, right. Exactly. See, I didn't exactly. even know that. Yeah, no, I didn't broken. even know the arm was broke. So right. a three-year-old kid with a broken arm, right? So, so that should be obvious by now. But even if you are so immature um, that you don't understand that, then your point, Stephen A., that there are consequences to that behavior. Even if you're a knucklehead and you think that's okay. It's not okay. Everyone else is telling you it's not okay, and there will be dire consequences. The, you break a three-year-old's arm, um, and if, 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 that's, if the rest of it's true, even if only that part is true, obviously, he can't play football for a while. But the reason that the NFL's somewhat measured response, I believe, is appropriate 
is because I didn't hear him admit to anything on that tape. It sounded like she was trying to get him to admit to something, and he didn't. To your point, he also didn't deny, and you would think under normal circumstances, someone accused that's like, are you crazy? You think I broke my kid's arm? Exactly. That should be your immediate response is what I'm saying. However, there, there, there will now be legal, you know, there, there is a process to this, and because he didn't admit it on the tape, there's... It, the NFL is okay and to say any, for any, now he any, can't, any he can't human, be on the field. Any human being alive, mm. someone accuses you of breaking your three-year-old child's arm. The discussion stops. Right. What? You don't know, but for example, what? But for, Never. For example you don't know how it's many the, conversations they've had like that where in the past he may have said, no, I didn't, and this time he didn't. That's me, what I mean. Let me address all of these things really quickly here. There's three different hats, I believe, to wear in this discussion. One is, as you pointed out, that of a father, or rather, even that just as a human being. This is absolutely, as you said, reprehensible, and as you said as well. Um, Tyreek Hill, with his past, has not earned the benefit of the doubt. There have been incidences, including involving this exact child in the past. Past. As uh, an attorney, I can tell you this, Max, you bring up a point which I believe will play out in the legal process and probably already has. There's nothing directly that is an admission that could be used here against Tyree Kill in a legal case. But then there's the third hat, and that's the NFL. And the NFL doesn't have to abide by the same rules that the justice system does. The, the NFL plays a game where Roger Goodell's decision is final. Mm -hmm. And I believe this decision will be listen, harsh. Well, listen, not to bring it up because he hasn't done anything since he was involved in the incident with his kid. But when Adrian Peterson got in trouble because of the corporal punishment issue, you have to remember he was widely considered to be the best running back in football, and the Minnesota Vikings had to get him up out of there. Why? Because corporate sponsors, advertisers wanted nothing to do with their brand because it was going to compromise their bottom line because of the heat that it was, was brought upon him.